guys what's up so i was going through my twitter and i saw i think ashish liking this person's post like uh, nitish khagwal i think and he created this timer that looks pretty good it looks sleek but those who are following my channel religiously know there's nothing really big deal about it so he created an infinite timer loop prototype in two frames and there are people like ashish or someone else about like how uh would you be interested in breaking down these prototypes in a fof session sir and stuff along those lines i mean for those who are following my channel religiously or who are taking my course no there's no, nothing really big deal about this, this right so i thought like why don't we just go ahead and create it so others can probably benefit from that as well though hopefully again uh i'm sure not a lot of people would actually be surprised about anything that's going on here so the simple thing that's happening here is let's say i have already this clock i just created a random number here i'm going to duplicate this i have the same number here i'm going to create a variable saying if let's say we were just doing this without any animations without two numbers showing at the same time with just like one number so i'm going to say let's say timer count by default is going to be 0 i'm going to connect both of these variables to our timer count and i'm just going to go here i'm going to say that after a particular delay let's say after a delay it needs to go here so i'm going to say after a delay it just needs to go to the second frame and in this second frame what's going to happen uh the smart animate animation effect is definitely going to be there but there's also going to be a set variable and in this variable what we're going to say is that this timer count that we've set is now just going to increase by plus 1 and that's it there's nothing really magical about this so as you can see it goes to 1 and that's it i mean that's pretty much done right but obviously in order to create an infinite loop here we can just say that this should just go back to the previous one and actually let me just add some animations because there were some animations in the previous one and let me just go ahead and actually include this a bit above sorry above the clock so we can rotate the clock in this instance just so it may look a bit fancier like something like this so now if we let's say play this again so we can just go here and it it's something like this so from 0 to 1 it's something like this and then we can say that from here it's just going to go back to this and we're not going to do anything for now let's say if we don't do anything we're going to say after a delay of let's say 0 seconds it's just going to go back quite simply and there's going to be no animation nothing it's just going to be instant so if we try to see 1 2 3 So that's working fine. This is pretty simple stuff, right? I hope not a lot of people are surprised by that. But now let's say if we wanted to have two numbers here. So I'm going to say this is going to be our first number. This is also going to be our first number. And then maybe we need a second number here as well. So I'm just going to say this is going to be our second number. It's going to come from let's say outside of the screen, but before we even place it outside, let's actually just go ahead and create a different variable for our second number. So I'm going to say and create another variable which is going to be timer count 2. and this is going to be let's say 1 by default because that's those are the values that we actually want to start with and this is going to be linked to our timer count 2 and i'm going to say this is going to let's say be 100 pixels in size and it's going to be a bit down like this and maybe it's going to be out of the screen something like this right similarly we're going to go here we're going to say this is going to be our second number here uh the second number is obviously going to be on screen but the first number is going to be 100 pixels and it's obviously going to be at the bottom here and it's going to be out of the screen quite simple as that and in this case obviously the second number needs to be the timer count 2 so now if we have a look at what's going on obviously it won't work completely because if we go here so it's 0 it's 1 it's 2 it's all of that stuff and i mean that's fine right One other problem that I'm seeing here is I did not update this to second, so the animation is a bit messed up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Now the problem here is that when it goes to, I mean, I think so. Here we have a one going on. Zero, one, one, one. So as you can see, the second number isn't really updating, right? So we want the second number to update as well when it goes from, let's say, this last one to the first one, because obviously we want that number to update as well. So what we're going to say here is we're going to say there's going to be a set variable here, and this is just going to update the second number as well. So everything stays consistent, and this should just be done: zero, one, one, two, three, four, five. six and you can keep on going like that i guess like again and again and let's say if you want to reset the counter at maybe i don't know um 10 i guess 
In order to do that, we can just go to our uh, delay interaction on the second frame. We can just say that I want to add a conditional. That conditional is just going to say, let's say when the timer count basically increases or is greater than, let's say 10, we want you to do something. So we want you to set the variables back to their original value, which is zero here. Um, similarly, I'm going to set the variable uh, to the timer count to variable to one, which was the original value. And I think this should be done. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and done it should reset now obviously i'm when i actually place these numbers some of these numbers are actually on the screen if i go here i think this second number is actually on the screen so i'm just going to remove it off the screen so obviously it's not visible that much so now it should be okay so guys that's going to be pretty much it for this video uh if you actually want to stay up to date on figma definitely take my course that's going to be linked in the description you get a 50 percent off if you actually use the am subscriber voucher code and I'm not sure when, when I'm actually going to end the voucher code. So definitely get that soon. Also, if you really want to check uh, important videos on variables that actually tackle real life scenarios rather than something fancy like this, definitely check out my YouTube channel and some of the other videos. Even if you're not taking the course, that's perfectly fine. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.